It's Sunday fun day! I should, yeah. do, I should like solo and like uh, make it like a thing that's from, oh, what's his face? The guy that does the Ready to Rumble stuff. Ah. Yes, Sunday fun day is back and this one went with me to go see the movie. <laughs> As you can see, it was Blair Witch. Ugh. I was rather would have been working. Well, we were going to see Snowden. Yeah, and right. I... I think that made no sense what I said. <laughs> I would have rather have been working. There we go. Yeah, but we were going to go see Snowden. The theater near near us where we really could see it, it just had like no show times worth the damn. Like, there was one at like 11 or 10.30. It was really early in the morning. I don't well, know why I nine. Early for me. <laughs> and then there was another one at there's no so showing at seven at night and I'm like I kind of want you know be able to eat especially since Snowden's like a two hour long movie <laughs> I wanted to eat beforehand so hey Blair Witch a sequel remake of the Bring Blair Witch Project thingy, whatever yeah <laughs> you can see Megan enjoyed it so much <laughs> Her just growls of discontent. Yeah, this movie sucked. This movie sucked a lot. Um, do you want to try and start us off while I try to compile my thoughts into a cognitive sentence? <sighs> if I must. Uh, it's either that or I can go off and just random little spurts of anger. Well... I will say this much. I wasn't looking forward to this movie. Yeah, and I, was I? Yeah, neither one of us were looking forward to this. I have seen both the first movie and the second movie. I haven't seen the second movie in a long time. I've seen the first one recently again. I still don't like the first movie. I know people are like, <gasps> to me, it's just it's a little too. It's too much of hearing stuff, not seeing a whole lot. And just their reactions. There's a lot of their reactions, but sometimes we don't know well, why are y'all freaking out simply because of tense moving. What if it's very windy outside? And also that ending still is like the the hell. <laughs> Though if you look into the lore, it's like, oh it makes more sense. Still it's like filmmaker went, shit, I have enough to film this bit. Go, do it, do that now. And I actually like second one a little bit. I know people kinda of shit on it, but it's, I like the like I saw the second one, did not see the first one, but I saw the second one. For the most part, I think it was like on regular TV, kind of edited. Best way to watch any kind of movie, edited. <laughs> With commercials. Edited for time, and edited from its language and gore and all that. Yeah. Always the best. Yeah, there wasn't too terribly much gore in this one. Just one really unnecessary gory scene. Yeah, we'll get into the movie yeah, like in it, a second. It's like, I'll finish my thought later, but yeah, uh, the same one's like, I actually kind of liked it. I liked that it was kind of psychological. You know, not everything was what it seemed. Yeah, it played console. The second one really played through expectations of what it's supposed yeah. to be what is real, what is not, which is a unique way to take the story from the first one, which really tried to play very, like, everything's real. Mm-hmm. This movie is... And as you were saying earlier, like, the second one was kind of meta. Yeah, it's, it's very kind of, meta. It's very self-referential. And... Well, yeah, because it treats the first movie like that. It's a movie. Though, it kind of looks as like, is it really a movie? Was it all a dream? <laughs> one of those kind of instances. Which is what makes the first or second one actually kind of work in my mind. Then you have this piece of shit. Oh my god. It is like the filmmakers watched the first movie, ignored the second one, took certain elements from the second one because there's. I was gonna say. Yeah, because I. Like you have these people who are going to do something because of what the first one was. And they run across two people, and pretty much they're the reason of the death of these two people. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Why? Why is this important? 
Yeah, from what he was telling me, it's just a retread of the first two. Like, what is the point other than money grabbing? Yeah, and that's the thing. This movie feels very Hollywood. Like, we know reboots are the craze, they're the thing. And remakes. Yeah, why Why we have to pretty much remake Blair Witch Project, though this is not just necessarily a remake, it's a sequel at the same well, why time. Why do we have to do a live action remake of Cinderella? Eh, mm. Disney likes money. And it's also but because really. Maleficent made a lot of money. Like, Maleficent was incredibly successful. At least with Maleficent, it seemed like they did something a little bit different, telling it from the villain's point of view. And also, we can thank also Alice in Wonderland for that, too. The Tim Burton one at that. Yeah, I was going to say, fuck Tim Burton. The movie I fell asleep in, woke up, realized I didn't miss anything. Actually, about me and friend, we were sleeping on each other. I wanted to fall asleep during this movie. <laughs> oh, God, this movie's just... so boring. Yeah, it's surprising. This movie takes like an hour to finally start, and it's an hour and a half long movie. Mm hmm. I mean, sort of like where Batman v Superman has the issue of the Batman v Superman doesn't happen till past the two hour and 15 minute mark or so. I can't remember. I'm still trying to purge that from my memory banks. And we eventually got to do the uh, Ultimate Edition. Yeah, well, I, I'm telling you all the ranchings and ravings, we will do one and talk about the Ultimate Edition compared to the original. Eventually, I, I just got a muster of courage. I promise you, it will go. I keep hinting at it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Not enough booze in the world. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I need some liquor. All right, what you need? I just need all of it. Just delivered here. One of everything. Yeah, maybe Dalai Lama. One with everything. <laughs> There's a Dalai Lama joke for the week. <laughs> it's a, such a dumb joke, honey. I love it still. Uh. Spare it anything else in this movie. Then you look, I'm talking to the crown prince of dumb jokes. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it, bad puns. I could say a billion bad puns in a row, and it would be better than five minutes of this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's bad. It's like you have someone who saw the first one, and someone who didn't see the first one, and we both agree it's boring. Yeah. And it's bad that this is a movie that. First of all, it doesn't need to exist. We didn't need a Blair Witch sequel. The first, well, technically, because we already had a Blair Witch sequel. Though that one did the sequel right. But we mm -hmm. didn't need a follow-up to the original movie in any way. Mm -hmm. Of treating it like it's still a real thing. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there. This is the worst cinematography I have ever seen in a freaking, uh, uh, what they're called? found footage movies, yeah. uh, point of view movies as well. It's shaky beyond necessary. And there's too many times where it's like, all right, well, we're trying to build a mood. We're trying to get you scared of this thing or get you scared of this atmosphere and everything. But it's doing this. Like if I grabbed the camera and shook it for, for like 17 hours and then have Michael J. Fox help me at the same time, it still wouldn't be as shaky as this movie is. It's impossible to see stuff throughout Moses' film. Yeah, one thing that was kind of annoying is, like, their camera will go out for like a second, mm -hmm. like towards the end. It's supposed to indicate, I guess, that the Blair Witch was nearby, and therefore the technology was starting to fail them. But see, that's here's the bad thing though. That is what Asylum, the cheap knockbusters do that have no money for special effects or anything like that, they do that shit in their, you know, not Cloverfield and they're not Paranormal Activity, which I didn't like the Paranormal Activity one. Some people say it was alright, it's like, no it wasn't. Because anytime like, it was supposed to be like a special effect or something, the camera would like, oh, shh, shake it out. Hey, you know another movie that also did this? The Fourth Kind, the Fourth Kind sucked. Speaking of aliens, I, I thought like alien, like towards the end, I thought aliens were like descending on. That would have been a neat little twist, but like, oh, like, okay. Like, aliens the whole time or anything. Yeah, it's like because like bright lights. It's like, well, what the fuck did that accomplish? No, it just wastes our time. Well, this whole movie wastes your time. Mm-hmm. Again, like I said, it's surprising 
Because, again, we keep comparing it in terms of badness to Batman v Superman, though I thought Ghostbusters was worse than Batman v Superman, personally. To me, Batman v Superman was worse, but... Yeah, but, uh, uh, <laughs> it won't vomit down my shirt or anything else. It would be having twelve people vomit on you would be better than watching this movie right now. <laughs> okay, if we're gonna explain the story, because we do need kind of, we're gonna go ahead and spoil this. We'll just put it to you this way: there is if, no story. Yeah, there isn't really a story here. All it is is the same thing as the first fucking movie. You're not miss anything if you don't watch us from Susan nobody else is. Yeah, just just to let y'all know, it's like it starts off with uh footage of someone running through like the Blair Witch house and like you briefly see their reflection in a mirror. Mm hmm And because of that, like one of the main guys David or Jay or Jay James James. I don't know the hell the name is. It's like he thinks as his sister Heather who went missing in those who, woods. Who was the lady at the end of the, or pretty much the main camera person throughout the original Blair Witch movie? Josh? That's where he, that line comes from. The Josh? And nope. Falls over. Yeah. But anyway. Mm hmm. So, yeah, he thinks it's his sister and, uh, it's like, well, maybe she's alive. And so they set off on this trek into the woods trying to find his damn sister, which, yeah, so let me know a chance that she's going to be alive, first of all. And second of all, like you said, she was in the first... Your hand keeps coming dangerously close to my eyeball. Like, I'm like... <laughs> You're like... He's like... <laughs> I talk with yeah. my hands. This is not a new development. Yeah, but close to my eyeballs a little frightening. But yeah, um, he takes off with this one lady who's been talking with him about it supposedly for a while. Yeah, he wanted to do a documentary about yeah. it. Her name is Lisa. The only reason I know her name is Lisa is because they repeat each other's names a lot. Yeah. Lisa! Lisa! Ashley! 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 Peter! Peter! Oh, God. We're saying each other's names. All right. That was the issue with the first one. It's like, all right, I know this. Sh there's no script to this movie, but give these people some direction to go because all they're doing is saying yeah. their names over and over again. Josh. Yeah. But yeah, they decide to go off with uh, his one token black friend, Peter, and, and the black friend's uh, girlfriend, girlfriend, Lisa, and no, you know, uh, Ashley. Yeah. Lisa was the other chick. Yeah, the same difference. They all blend together. That's the thing. None of these characters have personalities. James, you're just wants to find a sister. Yeah, he's the only one that has any unique motivation mm -hmm. when to find a sister. And even then, it's like, it does, he doesn't really stand out as a character. Yeah, it, it doesn't help that really the whole trying to find his sister, it feels like it's constantly taking a back seat yeah, to feel, nothing. It, it feels very flimsy. Yeah, it doesn't feel like there's any reason. You know, even though they just... beat us over the head with it, like the first five or ten minutes, it's like, oh, I want to go in and want to see my to find my sister, or find my sister, find my sister. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like, okay, got it, move on. Yeah, and then they move on, and it just seems like it doesn't really lead anywhere or anything. Yeah, and then it becomes all about like trying to find or survive or disprove the Blair Witch, and then yeah, about the surviving and. Mm-hmm. It's like only towards the end really does he remember about Heather. Yeah, he's like, oh, he goes, it's he goes, my sister. Goes, and he, it's like, there's no way it could be her. It's like, well, it might be her and think I'd have to take that chance or something. Uh, yeah. And runs into the house. It would have been something if like throughout the entire, when they were going through their first little trek through the woods, if they, like maybe he found like something of hers. That would have been something that kind of would have helped to build upon this. Yeah. And also, there's one thing, like, Peter and Ashley are kind of giving Lisa a bunch of shit. They're like, you're just kind of exploiting him for your thing. That just comes up, and it's... Goes nowhere. Yeah, it's never spoken of again. It's just gone. Yeah, they, like, film themselves at this club, partying the night before they're supposed to leave. Mm -hmm. It's like, what the hell does this do? Like, what, is it, what point does this scene have? Yeah, it just seems to be there to have that said, but it doesn't yeah. go anywhere. It would have been something 
again, like with the him possibly finding things, if yeah. she was goading him on constantly, it's like, well, let's just keep going. Yeah. And she was pushing, like Lisa was the one pushing James into it. Yeah, Peter accused Lisa of, you know, trying to exploit James or whatever. Yeah, name James, is. his uh, grief. Yeah, trying to exploit it for a documentary. And she's like, well, I'm not trying to exploit anybody. And, and it's like, really, that scene was just an excuse for them to test out their new toys and. Yeah, it's just, it's like, hey, look at all the things. This it's will like, explain yeah. why we have 13,000 different point of views. And to help give character motivations. Like, you only really have character motivations for two people. Well, dang, like, four. The two other morons, uh, Lane and Talia, yeah. they get introduced. They come up and they serve the same purpose from the two, I think they're Russians or Ukrainians, from Blair Witch 2, and as they they're there to die. Well, I'm like you. It's been a while since I've seen the second one. But the but yeah, they're just there to try and help show them where it is. Supposedly, they just yeah, sure, just trusting your random internet, per internet person. I'll show you where the places are around here. Yeah, because uh, Lay and Talia posted the footage of supposedly Heather on YouTube and. Uh, yeah, it was with the DV or DV tape and all this. That comes up to be a plot point, sort of. This movie's plot is, I would say it's paper thin, but that seems to be mean to paper. Yeah, they make a big deal about how Lane found the footage and was gonna take them into the woods to where he found it, and then. Then it ends up when they go into the woods, like something creepy happens, and then they're like, "Oh, let's just get out of here." And then whenever they're leaving, it turns out, oh, Lane staged the creepy thing by hanging a bunch of Blair Witch things around him. How little, they know the... Little twig things. Yeah, how they know the Blair Witch thing is, is real. I don't know. I guess we're assuming that that Blair Witch Project movie that we saw was supposed to be real, and he watched pretty much his sister's murder. Yeah. Thanks. Um, and should we give away the little twist... Oh, we're going to give away all the twists. <laughs> who cares? This, this movie tries to think it's very clever, but there's a lot of weird things that don't make sense. Mm -hmm. Well, like we've said, uh, Lane has a DV-8 recorder, and they said that this guy had had a DV-8. Um, yeah, it was taken from DV, DV footage, yeah. is what it said at the beginning of the movie. Yeah, and, or, yeah, and that's what the guy says and all this. Well... They're like, oh, Lane just must have just set it up. They go, and then finally the movie starts. Now, it sounds like we have skipped a chunk of the movie. One we really have all we've skipped is Peter being kind of a dickhead to Lane and Talia simply because they're backwood rednecks because they hang Confederate flags. Never mind, their accents don't sound anything like a freaking Southerner or anybody from Maryland or anywhere from except for possibly California. Thanks. And I'm glad this looks exactly like Maryland. It doesn't. They they tried to make it look sort of like the original, but I'm pretty sure they didn't shoot in the same spot as the original. They maybe have, but if they did, this area has been changed quite a bit because it looks... I was say, if, there's not, if I'm not mistaken, there actually is a Burkittsville, Maryland. Oh, yeah, there they is. They probably like, refuse to let them film. like, uh, no, we're, no, yeah. we're going through the shit again, no. Yeah, because... Burkittsville actually dealt with a lot of crap of people wanting yeah. to go there. Yeah, which they mentioned in the second one. Yeah, and that was actually kind of a neat thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, they didn't even go, it felt like they didn't go to the Northeast or anything. Like, go to Vermont or New Hampshire, somewhere where there's no humans. And just go film there. I'm pretty sure it'll look close, or at least find something close. It looks like they just filmed out in the outback of California. And yeah, so much filler. Just... Them like stare at this tree that got like kind of splintered by lightning coming up from the like, ground mm -hmm. or something. Um, it's like, ooh, ah, ah. Yeah, look at and this. Then, and then ooh. crossing this little stream, like, oh my god, it's so cold. And so that way, Ashley can cut her foot on something. And, and then later on, it can like cause some kind of weird infection thing. And the reason this happens is so we can have gore. Literally, this. Yeah, something in the, in her little wound, wound. on her foot. It like, begins infecting her and goes yeah, up her it's leg. Yeah, like, like traveling up her leg. And, 
and I was I was getting really bad flashbacks of freaking cabin fever. That same kind of shit happened in that, and that movie sucked dicks. Yeah, they were like making a big deal about the damn foot, making it seem like some dude with the Blair Witch. Yeah, because like you would hear like every time she'd step, like this bone cracking noise. I was like, oh, first off, she's like, oh, I guess it's my cut. Well, first off, if your cut is making it sound like you're cracking a bone, you did something really, really wrong. But it turns out, no, there's something in her cut, and she, like, pulls out, like, this millipede-like thing. It, I don't know. That's all yeah, and it's just, it, it, like, quickly cuts from it, and it's like, well, that, and here's the bad part. Whenever they show that, like, she dies, like, two minutes after that because, like, she gets, she falls from a tree. Yeah, I just climb up a tree to get this little drone camera they have. Yeah. That crashed because of Blair Witch, I guess. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, and Ashley finds it. She tries to climb up in the tree and get it. And all of a sudden, something like kind of behind the drone kind of attacks her, makes her fall to the ground. And, and kills her. Yeah, and you see her body being uh, dried off screen. Yeah. And. It's like, so what was the gore for? What did this add to the movie? Yeah. And honestly, it just padded the movie. It just padded pointless amounts. It didn't add any tension, her cut, or anything like that. Like, you would have figured they'd be like, we need to get her out of here, get her a doctor. And they would have been constantly moving. They wouldn't be camping. Adding to the paranoia because they weren't yeah. sleeping and weren't able to take care of her well. Anything like that. But no, we just get this pointless... They, they technically were sleeping. They were sleeping for a couple days at a time. No, what I'm saying is it would have helped add to paranoia if they were constantly wanting to move to get her out of there and they weren't sleeping. Oh, okay. And they wouldn't sleep. And like, I it felt like... like other, yeah, I thought you were saying they weren't sleeping. It's like, no, they were sleeping for... Yeah, or something like that. It never really is explained very well. Like, they come back... Like, originally yeah, they good. kicked out... Uh, Wayne and Talia. Yeah. And they're like, y'all have been missing, we haven't seen y'all since for five it like, days. It was, like, it was like, when was the last time you saw us? Earlier this afternoon. It's like, we've been gone for five days. It's like, okay. and then like the next time they see him, like later that night, pretty much, he's like got a beard. Yeah. Or something. It's like, and Talia's all it's, freaked it's, out. It's just, it didn't really, it's like, I know you're supposed to feel like you've lost some time, like they've lost time. It's but supposed it to disorient you, but... Yeah, it's like, it doesn't really feel like that. It feels like it takes place within just a day or two. Yeah. Well, again, it's not helped how it's edited. Like, this movie is... Um, it, it's quick cuts, 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 quick cuts. Yeah, one thing we were talking about uh, earlier... Mm-hmm. Um, it's like, it's just... It's like, every time they try and build suspense in one scene, it's like... They would cut back to the campsite. So we can see them do nothing. Yeah, just kind of like, oh, God, did you hear that? You know, and then cut back to whoever was in the woods about to die. Yeah. And then they die, and they come back to the camp. It's like... Th that kind of ruins any suspense. Why did yeah. we need this edit here like this? Yeah. And also, it does not help that they kill people in the most hilarious ways. Like, <laughs> Ashley already dies in a really stupid way. Like her own, It feels like her own stupidity would killed her. Peter, get the tree. Yeah, he gets treed hard. <laughs> just, just like, oh, the tree. <laughs> that was the funniest damn thing I've seen in a long time. Yeah, I even made a comment. At one point, he's peeing on a tree. It's like, oh, no, you're going to die now. You peed on the sacred tree. <laughs> yeah, the tree came back and just, I'm going to whip your ass. <laughs> well, we don't know for sure if it was the same tree, but obviously. I'm assuming it's the same tree. Yeah. That tree's deadly. That's what it is. They're getting killed by ants. Yeah, it'd be funny if that was the same tree. Yeah, that would have been hilarious. Oh, but yeah, this movie, like I said, it sounds like we're describing random scenes. The most we've taken out of context is Ashley's death. That's simply because it really doesn't have anything to do with anything. Same with Peter's death. It uh, Talia dies kind of randomly. Yeah, like she's just sitting there like looking at one of the Blair Witch things. She kind of like touches it and then just like bends in half. Like no, what she does, like she uh, is like looking at it. Uh, Ashley takes it from her. And it's like uh, you know, I'm tired of this bullshit. And like breaks it in half. And it's got, yeah, for, I guess it was like tied to her because she took it. She's the one that took it down or something. I don't know. Or maybe she's the one that made it. Or I don't, I don't, uh, I, I don't know. I don't pretend to know. It's like. All right, what? And it happens so quickly, and it's yeah, edited like, so weirdly. Yeah. 
that you can't tell. It's like, okay, like, oh, okay, Talia's dead. All right. I just thought she fell over or something. Yeah, like, I, I heard, like, bones just kind of. And she became Goo Woman. Mm. Oh, oh, God. This movie just didn't mm. fucking do anything. Yeah. The Except a bunch of uh, false scares. Yeah, it it was a one to bad, like, Every mm. five freaking minutes. Mm-hmm. Like, we had to have somebody rush at the camera and go, oh, oh my gosh. And it's like, oh, it's okay. It's just Lisa coming into the guy's tent. Yeah. And they try to act like they have a romance thing, but they, they have as much chemistry as Ryan Reynolds and the lady who was in Green Lantern with him. Yeah, brother and sister is what they feel like. I don't feel like they even know each other. Yeah, I think they're supposed to be, like... Uh, just friends, and maybe people, people tend to kind of assume that they're more than that, but yeah. it's like, only in one scene I get the sense that, you know, people think they're more than just friends, or you like, on the walkie-talkie with Peter, saying it's like, oh, you know, Lisa's in here, it's like, oh, she just got in here, you know. Yeah, uh, no, no, she just got in here, man. Like, yeah, it's like, quickly trying to, you know, backtrack and correct himself. And it's like, well, what? It's, it's like, well, what's the point of bringing that up? It's like, I don't give a shit. Sorry, but like, you're not making me care about these characters, much less any storyline involving them. Yeah, especially since they don't really have any arcs to them. There's nothing to them. They're just kills. And that's the worst thing. It's like, you took um, the first one, which I will say, if I can give it any credit, it was at least a suspense movie. It wasn't about the number of deaths, because if you really think about it, only three people died throughout the entire movie. Hell, paranormal activity. Only one person really died at the end of the movie. Yeah. Um, well, it was only really two people, but... Yeah. But it's not about the number of deaths. It's like this movie was... Its main focus was body counts. Yeah, and, and another flaw, speaking of paranormal activity... Mm-hmm. Another flaw... I was like, I was actually thinking this during the movie. It's like, paranormal activity... One thing about it was what you don't see. That was like what's what was so creepy about it. But it's like with Blair Witch, there was a bunch of stuff you didn't see, and it's like I was like, like just show me. It's like don't don't, but, don't don't tell me, don't hint around at it. Just show me. But there were actually a number of things you actually did end up seeing though. Not, like not, for the, like the briefest instance, like Yeah, because that's supposed to be scary. Oh my god, we saw the Blair Witch. Which just looks like a big like lanky person. It's like if uh, Kareem Abdul, I'm sorry, I can't say his name right. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Yeah, sorry, I I butcher your name, name man. It's like if he, you know, became Michael Jackson. He has pale, long limbed because apparently Blair Witch was pretty much racked. Yeah, like hanged with these rocks and it's like yeah. stretched her. Okay. I just, it's not. It just doesn't add up and it just doesn't it's not scary that's the worst thing it's like yeah. where if you want to take a slasher movie that can be scary and everything you do see the villains of Friday 13th like it's actually Jimmy Friday and all these people just dying randomly not sure why they're dying who's killing them uh, Nightmare on Elm Street not really seeing Freddy throughout most of it or most of the he's uh covering he's just killing people this just a lot of it like you know the Blair Witch is doing this or that and it's like these over the top kills that you would expect from a paranormal activity movie and they feel really out of place which is weird it, they just don't feel like these fit into this movie like this is supposed to be part of a different movie of a different name yes so, I was gonna say, it was just. Want to spoil the big twist? Yeah. Yeah, the big twist is that the footage that uh, they watch at the beginning of the movie of possibly his sister Heather, it's actually Lisa from the future. Yeah, it's. Running her. through the house. And yeah, because we need to see this twice of this footage of them running through a house. One of them going upstairs and no one going downstairs because of a stupid plot point they've set up one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was either in the attic or it was in the basement where this guy did this stuff that the original Blair Witch kind of was playing with. Now, what does that add? 
is that we get two of pretty much the exact same scenes, except for one is supposed to be a claustrophobic scene, which if you have claustrophobia, this scene will probably get you a little bit, but more because of claustrophobia, not because it's actually frightening. Just her, just <laughs> crawling through like this whole internet that there's no sewage. Yeah, it there's nothing there. And then she ends up like back in the house at, at through magic. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. And you see him running through the house, thinking he's going after Heather, but he's just. And then you get trapped in one room, and then later he. He's like, in the attic. Yeah, like she ends up in the attic. That's the footage from the beginning. And she turns around, and there's. And there's uh, James or whatever. It's like, oh my god, it's like, what? Those and they're like, attic? go in the corner, or it won't kill us this way. And then suddenly he just starts going, Heather? Heather, even though you're not hearing anything, it's just him just saying that, and he turns yeah. around and the Blair Witch eats him. And then, like, she's trying to, like, kind of back up using her camera to, like, kind of look behind her without looking directly at the witch. Yeah, suddenly he hears... She hears, it's like, Lisa, I'm so sorry, which is what he actually said just prior to him getting eaten. Yeah, and then she's like, Jake, I'm dead. Yeah, it's like... It's like, you st it's like you knew he got killed. Yeah, it wasn't a question, like, if he was still alive. Yeah. But yeah, the big twist is that, hey, this is actually footage from a feature they're watching. It's funny, like, if they hadn't seen that footage, they never would have ventured out there thinking that's Heather. Mm-hmm. And they never would have ended up in there to begin with, and never would have filmed the footage, and never would have... Yeah. No, no, time, my time. eyes have went cross-eyed again. <laughs> okay. Time travel, I guess. Time. Yeah, somehow Magic. the footage is that way via time travel. Um, yeah, somehow I are able to find... Is that what? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't... All I know is this movie just... It Ugh. wastes my time. And it's bad. It's an and hour and a half movie. Uh-huh. And the freaking cherry on top. Oh, yeah. Parents of the year. Just yeah, we had parents of the year again. Radar horror movie, and you bring a baby and a toddler. So hey, thanks, thanks for that. Yeah, I kept hearing the baby fussing. It's like take your kid outside. We're going to get a babysitter. Yeah. Freaking morons. And on top of that, at one point, you know the characters are going Ashley, Ashley, and you hear the kid Ashley. Yeah. Shut, shut up, kid. Was repeating it, but oh well. Ugh. Then you know, this movie was god awful. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even like the only thing I really laughed at, and I wasn't supposed to it laugh was at, was that tree eating him. No. No, we also laughed at uh, Ashley freaking <laughs> like Ashley freaking out over something. Like, <laughs> like her just kind of. Oh yeah, goes, she has just how it just has a fit over something. Just goes high pitched, like can't understand her. It's like. Yeah, it's like. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> it was like it. Both parts not really intended to be playing. Yeah, they're unintentionally hilarious. <laughs> yeah, like the way that tree fell on Peter, it's like I kind of laughed. It's like, okay, it look, looked like he ran into the tree. <laughs> like he was running to. It's like, well, it didn't help that footage is doing this the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Then uh, all the bitching and moaning we have for this movie. Mm hmm. Not a whole lot of love for this movie. Uh mm hmm. I guess yeah. we better give our rating before we sign off here. Yeah. Well, we'll say, our half long movie feels like it's three and a half hours long. Mm -hmm. It's surprising. Just There's a lot of doing this. We go, come on, we'll just, just finish, please. If we can give Batman or Superman any credit, at least it felt like it's two and a half hours. I don't know. And it not felt to me a little longer than it's two and a half hours. But it didn't help that that movie just felt like, like oh, come on, get something. But there was a story there, sort of. Yeah. She yeah, sort of. Yeah, it didn't help like that. It felt all of its two and a half hours because I had to pee. I was like, it's like, okay, please hurry up. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. <laughs> I was in help. That was not a good movie. Yeah. Near was this. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. Ratings. What about you? What do you think? Can you give it a zero? Nah, we gotta give it one to ten at least. Okay, guess one. <laughs> that, that's being generous. <laughs> How about you? Same thing. 
<laughs> There's not anything good in this movie. Is there anything really redeeming about... The camera work is shoddy as can be. It's not a good found footage movie. It's not a good Blair Witch sequel. It's not a good movie in general. Yeah, it's, it's not a good horror movie. It's just a shitty, shitty movie. No real story to it. At least Batman vs Superman had a couple of stories going on, however stupid they were. Hell, there was a story to Paranormal Activity. There's a story to even Paranormal Activity 4, if I can get at something. Even on Paranormal Activity 4, I haven't seen the fifth one, the marked ones, or um, Ghost Dimensions. I will see them eventually. I'm pretty sure they're terrible. Although I have seen, like, actually the end of marked ones. This demon thing running a guy shotgun, blam! Blasted it away. It's like, oh, that was pretty awesome. Even though that's, like, literally the last bit of the movie. Oh, I do know how marked ones ends, because I saw that. I was like, the hell? Mark Jones has the biggest maybe, what the hell maybe, maybe it would make more sense if we actually watched the movie. Yeah. No, I, it's, it I, doesn't I, make a lot of sense from what I've seen. But. I haven't seen Mark ones or like Ghost Dimension or whatever either. I heard Mark ones is better than 4 and Ghost Dimensions. Of course, Ghost Dimensions is what I've heard is one of the worst horror movies of all time. So, could us. Yeah, uh, this, is, this is not a good found footage. It's not good horror movie. It's this just sucks, not a good movie. This, yeah, this was too terrible. Just oh. miss it. Yeah. Please. I don't... Do not give this movie any of your money. Don't even rent it. Don't even give it your time. Yes. I wouldn't even bother pirating this movie. It's not even worth it. Yeah. It, it's an, it would be an hour and a half of your life you'll never get back. Yeah, like, there are better, way, better ways to waste... An hour and a half. Yeah, dunk your head in water for an hour and a half. You'll be, you'll, you'll feel like you spent your life better. <laughs> oh. More productive, certainly. Yeah. So next week we got another uh, technically a remake. This is one. The next week we are actually watching a remake. That's not afraid of calling itself a remake since it is one. What are we? Magnificent Seven. Uh. So hey, at least we have that. I'm actually gonna look forward to it. But I like Denzel Washington. I like. I probably won't be. Yeah. Hopefully I won't be working next Sunday. Yeah, so we will see you all next time with Magnificent Seven and yeah, Blair yeah, Witch. Yeah, actually go. looks kind of funny. So. Looks all fun. So. Hopefully it's not Blair Witch pro or Blair Witch because that was terrible. That's so. terrible. That's a bit of an understatement. <laughs> uh, so. Ugh. Ugh. Like I said, we'll see you all later. Yeah, yeah don't see Blair Witch. Adiós, amigos. <laughs>